Feels good. Feels like coming home. <laughs> it's almost exactly a year since I was last here. We wade through the slurry of bat guano looking for snakes. All right, first one to find a python wins. But the next thing we find is not a giant snake. Look back down in there. Look, look, look. What the hell are those snakes? Flatworms. That cannot be good. Many species of flatworm are parasitic. I guarantee those things burrow into human flesh and bad things happen inside the human body. They're probably all up in our nether regions right now. I wish I hadn't seen that. Then I start having flashbacks to the last time I was here. This is it right here. That's where I saw the snake that bit me. Watch it, watch it, watch it! Oh! Shit! Oh! Oh! Yeah, he me! The bite took place right here. And guess what? Snake, snake, snake! I spot a big python behind the ridge of rock. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, whoa, he's loose. he's loose! Watch out, he's in the water! He's in the water! He's Careful, swimming. there he is, there he is! Swimming. There's Daddy's his head! Swimming. There's his head! There's for me. Careful, there's his tail! He's coming back! Let me see if I can get him by the head. Careful, this is this is thick stuff. I am not grabbing him by the tail. I learned my lesson last The time. reason I got bitten last time was because when we grabbed the tail, we didn't have control of the head. I am not making that same mistake. Where's the head? Where's the head? Yeah. Excellent. Woo! Just all right. We already caught a big snake. <laughs> the snake has ticks on its head. This means that the snake has left the cave. And that's something I really want to try to determine. Are these snakes living out their entire lives in the cave? Or are they exiting? Ticks can't survive in the cave. So they prove this snake has been outside. Look at all the little black ones, see? Those are all ticks, like a hundred ticks. Every time the snake sheds his skin, it will lose these ticks. So we know that this snake has been outside the cave in the last month or so. It supports Mark's theory that bigger snakes like this exit the cave to hunt. They need bigger prey than the bats inside. They'll even hunt domestic animals as big as pigs and goats. He's really squeezing. I mean, even a snake this size, I mean, he can cut off my circulation on my arm. Really okay, a big snake. Just a moment. Oh! Ah! Careful. Really, really strong. Imagine what it would be like to tackle a snake 20 feet long. This is uh, all three meters, three nine, meters. nine or 10 feet long. Yeah. I'm telling you. I've been, I've been working in the field as a herpetologist for 20 years. It's been a lot of that time in Southeast Asia where reticulated pythons are found, and I have never found one in the wild except in this cave. We've been in here a total of about 10 minutes, and we already caught about a nine or 10 foot reticulated python. Brady, can you loosen this? It's getting, uh, yeah, I, mean, I can't it, really. My hand is not free. Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> we measure the snake for Mark's research, then release it and continue our hunt for a giant.